Hey everyone, it's me, Carrie. So, over the last couple days, I may have joined the dark side, which means I've been using the dreaded app TikTok. I know it's very controversial, but I just wanted to see what it was like to use the app and upload some silly videos just to gauge people's reactions. So specifically over the last two days or so, I've been filming silly videos using this set of thumbtacks that my parents must have bought like a decade ago, because these are very old. Okay, maybe it's not a full decade, but you know, years ago at least, these are ancient. Anyway, before I get into the specifics of that, those pin slash thumbtack TikToks, <laughs> I wanted to talk about a question, and that question is, what content on the internet that I've made, Carrie Huang, do you think has the most likes out of like everything I've ever done? And this is something I actually didn't know the answer to myself because there's so many different platforms and they're always changing. The dynamics are moving. So I decided like, let's find out. I might've asked this a couple years ago, but let's do a refresher. So my first thought was Scale of the Universe, which is an educational app I posted to Newgrounds almost 12 years ago. Oh, you can't see that because of my webcam. <laughs> so this is Newgrounds. So it was probably posted before most of you were born, which is January 2010. But I was kind of surprised because it has 4.7 million views, which was like mind blowing at the time. Like that's still crazy on Newgrounds, that many views. But it has 5,000 votes, which, you know, the ratio is like 1,000 to 1. But still, Oh wow, it's still rated 4.7. That's that's a really, I'm really flattered that people are, are like rating it so high. And actually I noticed that some of these reviews came in literally in 2022. This one was only from three days ago. So I'm just honored that people are still coming here so many years later just to, um, what, what, what ratings are, okay, we got five stars, we got three and a half stars, you know, that's still above the midpoint. So I'll take it five stars and three and a half stars giant earthworm. Yeah, back then my artwork was not good. Why are the outlines so thick? Jeez, I don't know. This, this is this is the earthworm. Like, look at those outlines. I, I don't know if I thought that looked good or whatever. Anyway, um, so, so 5,000 is the current record, right? 5,288. Uh, but then you might think, oh, when I saw Scale of the Universe in school, it was through this sister website called scaleoftheuniverse.com, which, you know, ripped our scale of the universe, you know, we're not affiliated with them, and posted it on their site. It doesn't work anymore because Flash Player is dead. But on this site, over the last decade or so, it's received 7,600 likes. So that takes the new crown. Can I zoom in? See, see that like thing? I don't know how the Facebook like button works because you can like post it on, on like third party websites. But anyway, this breaks the new grounds record. But next you might be thinking, well, BFDI has been chugging along pretty well on YouTube for the better part of a decade. Maybe they take the record? And I've searched through many BFDI episodes and it turns out the most viewed one is, well, okay, the most viewed one is obviously the first episode and it has 111,000 likes. But out of all BFDI videos, it narrowly loses the record to the compilation video of the first season, which has 115,000 likes. So this is 4,000 higher. And that's pretty surprising because the compilation was uploaded in 2018. So it's been online for just three and a half years versus, oh, you can't see that, BFDIA's 12 years. So yeah, this is the current record, 115,000. But then you might think, um, I have other YouTube channels, right? So 115,000 is the record for Jack and Jellify. But... Remember I had the Abacaba meme video from three years ago, I think. And this one, despite having way fewer views than either of the BFDI videos, it it's more liked than any BFDI video. I'm saying the word video too much. 135,000. Okay, gotta rush through this. Okay, this is the, the current record for Abacaba, but it's not the record for all my channels because the Carrie KH time travel video, which is like, even more recent? Oh no, it's around the same time period. Um, 2019, same time period. 159,000. And that is the record for me across all of YouTube. And I have, I think I've checked everything that could possibly take the cake. So that's the current record. But Michael 
and other people uploaded videos of BFDI to TikTok, and I remember I talked about this in 2020 as well. Certain TikToks have gotten more likes than this of BFDI. So there's this one of everyone jumping into acid, which used to hold the crown as the most liked BFDI content online with 140,000. Um, wait, I'm trying to zoom in so you can see that number better. Yeah, TikTok on desktop doesn't really work very well. 140,000, that doesn't beat the record, but it's the most liked uh, on Jack and Jellyfy sometime in 2020. But then this one, which is from BFDI A5C where they're in the Evil Canyon, this has 188,800. And I can stop beating around the bush because I can affirm to you that this video is the most liked content any of me or Michael, the Huang twins have you know, uploaded or put online ever. That is until maybe today. I say maybe because I have no idea. But, okay, so I have been, like, on and off, I would upload random TikToks since around August of last year, so maybe five months. But two days ago, I uploaded a, a very silly video of these pins, these thumbtacks, popping emojis. And then yesterday, around 5 p.m., because I think it was around when the sun was setting, I uploaded a sequel just because I noticed that the first one uh, performed pretty well. So... I haven't checked how the TikTok has done since around like maybe 2 a.m. last night. And back then, um, both of them had already passed 100,000 likes. And, you know, for the second TikTok, that was within what, like seven, eight hours. So like based on the ratio, the, the kind of, not ratio, the trajectory, like, I don't know, maybe they have, they'll, they will have passed this. Again, I haven't looked at TikTok for um, about 11 hours, so let's see where they're at now. So I have my phone, I don't want to open TikTok while it's recording because then you, you might see like private messages and you know, I can make sure my privacy is maintained. But okay, remember the number to beat is 188,000. Okay, I'm gonna open TikTok right now. I have no idea what to expect. If it doesn't break any records, then that's fine as well. Um, cause I can still just show you the TikToks. Okay, here we go. Profile. Oh my God. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is my profile. Um, so the, the, the TikTok from two days ago has, what is that? Can you see? Is it focusing? Pull back. Can you see? It has like 340,000 views, but the second TikTok from 5 p.m. yesterday has 1.6 million views. I don't know how many likes that is, but I'm gonna... First, let's let's check the, the first TikTok from two days ago. Um, okay, 138,000 likes. So it does not break the record. So we can safely say that this guy, this video is still holding the record. Um, by the way, if you're curious what the TikTok is, I'm not gonna play the audio because like, who knows if it's co copyrighted. And I know that YouTube doesn't like it, but I was basically just moving the camera around with a single thumbtack on the table. And because of the camera motion, it looks like the pin is moving. And then these emojis uh, I added on the screen later. I'm not gonna, well, okay, explaining jokes ruins the humor in jokes, right? So let's not do too much explanation. But, okay, so this one, okay, this video, still 188,000, but this more recent TikTok has, I don't know how this happened. It has five times the views of the other one. So it might have five times the likes, in which case it breaks the record. Okay, I'm gonna try doing this on screen. Like, okay, so the webcam is pointing towards me. So I can't actually see where my finger is. I have to let the webcam guide me. I'm gonna tap it. I'm shaking. 399,000, right? That's the new record by over twice. Now this, okay, let me zoom out so you can see what the actual TikTok is. I just, now there's four pins and they're popping four different types of emojis. And the thing, okay, I recorded a behind the scenes of how I did this, but it's, it's like, this this didn't take me more than, I don't know, 20 minutes. 300, okay. So, okay, if you were to like graph everything I've made on the internet, this takes the cake 
by over twice. So the bar graph would be extreme. You got like this TikTok, and then like everything down. Okay, I should. What are people saying? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out later. That's for a different video, or maybe never. Maybe I won't make a video. But, but yeah. Okay. So this is my now. This is what I'm known for on the internet the most, right? So some people know me from my AI videos. Some people know me from Scale of the Universe. Some people know me from the Abacaba bar graph. Some people know me from BFDI. But the majority of people on Earth know me from this now, from 18 hours ago. Um, it's just weird. Like, I, I feel like I the amount of work I've put into BFDI, if you sum it up over all these 12 years, is probably like thousands upon thousands of hours and it just pales in comparison a 4 to 1 ratio to something that I did in like 20 minutes. But I mean, I know TikTok likes and views are always like easy come easy go and like they're less substantial because, you know, I've heard a lot of friends join TikTok and then they get a viral video and then it's hard to maintain because, you know, TikTok, the for you page you never know what's going to pop up there next. And maybe you're in it one day and you're out of it the next. So I'm not saying that like, I'm going to switch gears entirely to popping videos. Um, yeah, but I just thought I would share that with you. And I wanted to get my initial reaction because, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen and I wanted to film myself. Okay. So I currently have, I guess just I had about 8,000 followers before I made the, the pin popping videos, and now I have 15,000. So my goal, okay, I don't want to get TikTok famous. I mean, it would it would be nice, but it's not my number one goal. But I do want to at least hit 25,000 followers because I think that's when Social Blade starts like recognizing your account as legitimate instead of like a bot account or something. And I don't want to be considered a bot account. So um, I'll just... Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get to the 25,000 threshold and then then I'll be satisfied. I don't need to get much more than that. But yeah, I, I do feel a little pressure that like I should make another popping video now. 1.6 million views in, in what? 19 hours, maybe 20 hours. Wait, what does it say? Yeah, it says 20 hours ago. Okay, I need to stop showing my phone screen to you, but uh, it says 20 hours ago. Wait, that, that like to comment ratio is really low. Like there's over 400 times more likes than comments. That's, that's crazy because if you go to say BFB29 uh, on YouTube, you get over twice as many comments as likes. So um this just means that on bfdi videos people vote or they discuss more than they like but on tiktok they like more than they discuss anyway that was my silly video and it's time for pin popping part three i don't know maybe maybe not i should do it when the sun's still out because the lighting just looks a lot better yeah anyway that is my silly video of the day Goodbye, goodbye world, bye. Okay, after editing this video, I checked the TikTok again and it did indeed hit 400,000 likes. So hooray, thank you for all the views and likes and watching. Bye.